All right, so let's take a couple ways you can make something kind of gridded if you wanted a bunch of squares or circles or, or whatever in a row. So let's go ahead and take squares, for example. So I'm gonna take this square, I'm gonna duplicate that out, and then I'm gonna do Command D all the way across, okay? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna select every other square, just give it a slightly different color, just so we can see it. Um, and then I could take this, right? We're gonna duplicate that down, but maybe I wanna switch now these colors. Um, again, let's just switch them so you can see. Let's switch these. Right, so now I have two squares here. I can now take these, right? Duplicate that, duplicate, and there I have my grid. Now, that was a lot of manual control. So let's see how to automate that a little bit more, which is what Illustrator is really good at doing. So I'm going to make a square that goes all the way across here. I'm going to go to Object, Path, and I'm going to say Split into Grid. Okay, so I want to say, I don't know, let's do five rows, five columns. Let's look at the preview. All right, well, so it split it up. That's great. It did the math for me. If I want to make sure there's a gutter space, which is a space in between, I can do that here. If I decide I want to up the number, um, there it is, it divides it evenly. If I want to make sure the widths are the same, right? As I make this, you can see it puts space in between because it has to, so it's trying to even it out um, across here. Um, so if we bring that back to zero, it'll bring it here. So let's just go ahead and do okay. And now what we have is we do have these individual, oops. And now I could just select all the individuals, hit I to color, and then, right, I could select more at a time here if I wanted to. And there's your easy kind of checkerboard um, set up for that. So that made that really easy to do to kind of split that um, into those shapes. You could use Command D to do it. So if we're again doing what's great if I'm doing an ellipse here and I say, all right, well, I want to do this. And here's like a better setup, right? So I'm going to take these two colors and now I'm going to move them over to Command D, Command D. And now I could duplicate them and make them all the way down. And there's my grid of colors, right? I could also do the same. Let's just kind of rotate this and you can see the colors have swapped, grab them, bring them down and duplicate it down, right? So some really nice functions that you can kind of do with that um, as well. One last thing while we're in here, is if you wanted to do something, let's just take a square because it'll be easier to see. Um, let's go to objects, transform, transform each. And if you said, all right, well, I want to just move these 0.125 over. Let's preview it. Mm, we want it more than that. There we go. So let's say that's what we wanted to move. Like, so here's my original objects. Here's where I moved it. But I also wanted to change the rotation of it. Um, that's okay. And I want to copy it. You see, as I can do that, you can see it transforms again. It does that same transformation across the board, which is really nice. Okay. So just a little kind of tricks that you can kind of work with um, to automate some things in Illustrator.